Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. For those of you who are new here, I'm Melody. And in today's vlog, I don't have a lot going on and I'm sorry, I know it's probably boring for you, but um, I do need to go get cat litter and I wanna go film home goods today. I have not done a lot of shopping videos. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just, ever since January, I've just not been in the mood to do them. I need to get back into filming home goods and some other stores. I've just been a little busy and haven't been able to make time for it. Today, hopefully that will change. I also, I don't know, it's a little overcast, but I don't think it's gonna rain. So I might take my car in to get a car wash. It's pretty dirty on the outside. And, oh yeah, let me go ahead and show you my, I'm gonna show you my trash can that I talked about in my last Dollar Tree haul. If you saw my last Dollar Tree haul, you might have heard me go on about my trash can. This is this is the trash can I was talking about. And actually I bought it at Target years ago. It was on clearance. I just put a bag in here and then I set it in the back of my car. Oh, that right there is my, um, I keep one of these in the car in case I get a flat. These things are pretty great, by the way. So I just keep it here in between, right behind the driver's seat. I just toss my trash in there. And as you can see, got a new set of bags. I just keep them in the bottom for next time. So yeah, that's the trash can. I got that at Target years ago and it's pretty handy to have in the car. What else am I gonna do? Well, I don't have a lot to do. Oh, my, I'm expecting, I don't know if I haven't told you guys this. My air fryer was recalled months ago and I've been waiting for it, waiting for it, waiting for it. And I actually just ordered one from Amazon because I last I had heard it was gonna be a few more months from Kasari. I ordered one from Amazon, it arrived that day, and then I got an email confirming that my my recalled air fryer was going to be replaced, like they had shipped out the replacement. So I sent that one back, I sent the one back from Amazon, and then, there I go. Long story, even longer, the bottom line is, my new air fryer is arriving today, the one from Kosari that's replacing the recalled one but you know what first let me show you let's try this sticky jelly stuff out first so let's see what we got oh my gosh anyone else ever find random screws inside your car and you're like well, where did that come from yep i'll just hang on to it because you know you're gonna need it later let's see it's not too too bad in here but let's try it in this one Oh wait, look, let's try it in this one. That's even dirtier. Oh, this is a scratch. My bigger cups scratch the car. It drives me crazy. So then I, I started putting like a rag in there. Let's try this gunk getter. I'm sure it's gonna work great because people really like this stuff. Yeah, look at that. Let's try it on that side now. Oh yeah, look. This side's not too bad. Right here. That's nice. That's a lot easier than trying to take uh, than trying to take these out, you know. So, even though I do it when I need to, but yeah, definitely a lot easier than trying to uh Oh yeah, there's some crumbs. Let's get those. Oh my goodness, it's really working. Oh, an airband. <laughs> the only area I can't get is right in there, but that's a pretty tight space. Actually, it looks... I'm just going to roll it around. So that's not too bad. It got, it got almost everything, except for like right in that crack. Well, yeah, this stuff works pretty good. I mean, it's kind of gross, you know, it's got all those little crumbs in there, but I guess you hang on to it until it's so gross you can't stand it and then you toss it. All right, first up, let's 
see what we can find. I'm back now. It's actually almost 3 p.m. I stopped at Chick-fil-A for lunch. And when I got home, it was here. The air fryer. So this is the air fryer that Kasari is replacing my old one with. I'm a little curious to see. I think this one's a little bit bigger than the one I currently have. But before that, I have to confess. I went to Sam's just for these croissants. When I found out I had my air fryer, I went back out and I grabbed these because I'm telling you right now, if you've never tried it, grab a bakery croissant from whatever bakery you go to and pop it in the air fryer for just a few minutes. It is like fresh from the oven. It's my favorite thing to do. Oh wow, these have gone up a little bit too. Is it just me or has everything gone up? I'm just like, when did Cheez-Its become almost $5? Yes, I know I got the family size. Actually, not almost $5. These were $5. Yes, I got the family size, but holy smokes. Also, can we discuss the fact that a can of Pringles is now almost $4? It was like three sixty dollars at Target. I remember when you can get them for a dollar. Yeah, I know, that's how old I am. I mean, they were selling them at Dollar Tree not too long ago. I mean, weren't they? They were selling something similar. And you know, I remember they used to be like a dollar sixty-nine. Yeah, it was like three something at Target. So, yeah, I was like, wow, now I know I am old when I can remember Pringles were a dollar, you know. Well, anyways, let's go ahead and open this up. All right, so it definitely looks bigger. Let me get them side by side. It's definitely bigger. This is a 5.5 and I cannot remember which one this is. Did I tell you guys that they made us cut the cord on it? I had to cut the cord. And I guess now I can toss this out. But it looks identical except for the fact that one is bigger than the other. Okay. I had to wait a little longer because I wanted a white one. I don't know why that mattered to me, but it did. I feel like my kitchen is dark enough I have dark appliances, you know, with the stainless. Let's 
Let's see. Someone's excited. Look, anytime a box is opened, Gidget, hi, what you doing? Come on. Well, I can definitely cook a little bit more at a time with it. So now I'm just gonna clean this up and get it ready for use. The only downside is this one came with the rack and this one doesn't. I think I'm going to keep the rack just because. I mean, I know it's small, but I might as well keep it. Let's go ahead and get this cleaned up. Yep, my kitchen is a mess. All right, before I do, before I tackle this, I think what I need to do, I need to take something to my neighbor's house. Let me do that. Oh, <gasps> look at that little cutie. The lawn. I'm not gonna do the Sunday lawn because I looked it up. That stuff is expensive. I think I'm just gonna save my money, get a new push mower for the front lawn and one with a bag so I can collect all of the trimmings because I think right now we don't have a bag and we're just leaving the trimmings and I think that's a big part of our problem. Sorry, car's going by. And I think that's a big part of our problem with all the weeds. And honestly, it's actually easier to mow with the small push mower on the front lawn anyways. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Look at her. Yeah. I know. You messed up the curtain. Can I fix the curtain for me? Oh, you did. You're such a sweet girl. <laughs> Hi. Does anyone ever start the year and like you've made a list of all these things you need to do to the house or just want to do in general? I don't do resolutions, but I do like to make a list of things I need to get done to the house. And man, sorry, my hand, my hand was getting tired. I just, I'm not on track. I've done nothing I need, I, I've done nothing that I need to do to this house. Like January was supposed to be the month I painted that living room. Does it look painted to you? Probably not because I didn't paint it. And this fence out here, I was supposed to re start replacing some of the sections. I only got one section done and then I stopped because that's when winter set in. And by now I was hoping to at least have a couple sections done, but nope, haven't done that. And I know you're thinking, we'll just pay someone to do it. I mean, even when I was working full time, it's not something we could always afford. I mean, putting up a fence is expensive. When we put that fence up, gosh, I think it was over 10 years ago, it cost a lot of money. So I can't imagine how much it would cost now if I had to pay someone, but that's okay. We'll get out there and get it. And enough of the rambling. Let me get these dishes put away, clean up my little area. Mm -hmm. 